Hope. And joining me now, I love this segment. Terry Johnson, thank you Hi, so much Chris. for uh, joining me today. You are from the Corkles. That's right. And before we even get into everything, what are the Corkles? The Corkles, it is a 26 set science literacy set, mm -hmm. uh, one for each letter of the alphabet, and okay. it tells a separate science story that ties into the Common Core standards. Okay, and uh, who are we going to be talking about today? To Which Corkle? Today we're going to be talking about Inquisitive Inman. Okay, so let's take a look at Inquisitive Inman. So you have the list of Corkles, and you can go to their website and look at all of them, and you get to see all the fun characters that they have and all the science experiments with it. And uh, what is Inquisitive Inman? Inquisitive Inman tells the story of uh, what a scientist is. Okay. In most schools, that is a typical area where they would start in mm -hmm. the whole science process skills. All right. So it's important to get children actively involved and engaged early on. Yes. Now. We school starts next Tuesday for Springfield students, so teachers going to be quick. yes, it is, and teachers are going to be looking for ways to engage those students, and because they've been on long summer break, well, they wouldn't say it was long, <laughs> they've been on summer break, yes, they've been on and summer so break. they're like, so they need to really go in and engage those students. So Chris, we're going to start okay. off with the power of observation. That is one of the science process skills. Okay, and so this is relatively simple. Now, I want you to stand back just a little bit. Because she told me I have to listen to her and yeah. ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> now you weren't supposed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> because in, in, in a real classroom, you would want yes. them to ask questions, yes. right? Okay. And I'm just going to take okay. some water and I'm going to pour it into this cup, empty cup, All right. like that. And we're just going to play a simple game. I am going to mix the cups up mm -hmm. and you're going to tell me which cup has the water. Sounds, and that's simple, sounds right? Sounds simple enough. Okay, so just keep your eyes on the cup and tell me which cup. Now you are observing, right? Uh huh. Okay, you're observing. Okay, Chris, which cup has the water? Uh, it looks like the middle one. You think the middle one has the water? I think so. You think so? Okay. From, from my vantage point, the middle one. <laughs> okay, from the middle one. Okay, well, you are now 50%. You have 50% opportunity. Okay. So you're saying this one has the water, correct? Correct. Okay. And how sure are you? <laughs> Fairly confident. Fairly confident. Well, I don't like... Oh, my shower cap fell up. Oh, I no. don't like your level of confidence. So let's, let's put on the... The shower cap, just for fun, okay? Because right. your, your level of confidence is ruining uh, my hair. Okay, it took hours. Okay, now Chris, this is the cup oh, no. that you said did not have the water in it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you look very attractive, Chris. That's Thank that's you. a great look for you. All right, so I'm going to take this, and you know, if you're uh -huh. correct, you have no issue, right? Because you're uh -huh. not going to get wet, right? True. Okay, so. Voila! Oh. All right, Chris, you know, I've got really good Oof. news for you. Your observation skills are great. Oh. Okay, Chris, I have really bad so news much. for you. <laughs> Your observation skills are great. So, with that being said, the water is not in this cup. The water is not in this cup. Therefore, the water must be in that cup. In that cup. Okay. Okay, okay let's see. One, oh. two, three. Where's the water? Hmm. That would be, is, well, man, this is embarrassing. Where's, where'd the water go? I don't know. It's not in that cup or that cup. It's not in that it cup. And it didn't fall out of that, that cup. cup. So where's the water? And those would be questions. I mean, you did, did you observe me drink the water? Did no. you observe me pour the water out anywhere? Just on, almost on top of me. Uh, almost on top <laughs> of your head. Actually, the water, I had a water gel in the bottom oh. of the cup that turns the water from a liquid to a solid immediately. In fact, very cool. yes, it is very cool. And I want to show how quickly this will turn. Just put a scoopful okay. of that water gel. In here? Uh-huh. I ordered that from stevespangler.com if okay. people are interested. And just take your water and slowly pour it in there until you see, and let's just see how quickly that will start turning. Into, oh, you can already see it. it's becoming start, slushy a little right. bit. That's right. Now, that is a polymer. It's a super absorbent polymer. 
Okay, now look, you can immediately see, see that it turns yeah. from a solid to a liquid. Well, wow. yeah, we maybe had, so that is pretty cool, isn't it? That is cool. Yes. Now, where would you find that? You would find it in the lining oh. of a baby's diaper. If you rip I should have the known lining, that. Yeah, if you rip the lining <laughs> of a baby's diaper, you are going to see this polymer because that huh. is where you find because it's super absorbent polymer. Also, farmers use it for conservation and you know, in times nice. of times being dry. Yeah, now one more uh, quick activity. If you'll just put your hands out like this. Okay. I'm going to put a little powder in your hands. Okay. Okay, like this. Like this. And here you go. Okay. What you can do and what you hope is that kids will grow and grow and grow. Ah! In <laughs> oh, their, oh so now watch. All right. In oh, their yes. learning. Right. Isn't that cool? Now that, it turns instantly. Now this is also a polymer. It's just cross-linked a little bit differently than that. Very so, cool. Very cool. Oh, that was, that was interesting just how it was feeling how in my skin feels. and that, how it was transitioning yes. like that. That's actually called Insta Snow. It has a little bit of green coloring in it. Can I put that in there? Absolutely. But these are activities that are ways to get kids actively involved in science and kind of have a little bit of the wow factor. Yeah, that's, that's yes. cool. I think kids will absolutely love this. And where can they find uh, your products? Where can they yes. get more information? Uh, Quirkles.com. Uh -huh. Everything is listed on our website. Mm -hmm. So. Give us a call or check out our website, and we'd be glad to talk to you. <laughs> so, Terry, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very it's much for joining me It's always a pleasure to be I here, Chris. I appreciate it.